Welcome back. It is Tech Tip Tuesday. Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the Share to Google Classroom extension that is amazing. Yes, definitely. I wish I would have used it a lot more knowing that it had the features that it has. Definitely. So we're going to explore some of those features today. And guess what we're learning about? Koalas. Koalas. Of course. I know. So first and foremost, you have to install the extension from the Chrome Web Store. If you look at my toolbar, that is the first extension that is hanging out. It is called Share to Classroom. Secondly, after you've done that, you can easily create assignments. Yep. Questions. That's my favorite. Announcements. Yes. And push websites. Yes. To students on Chromebooks. Super easy for the little ones that have a really hard time typing in the whole thing. All right, so let's do it. Yes. Ready? So simple. First, we're going to click and pick. Okay. Click. Click it. It's going to load all of the classes in your Google Classroom that are active. So pick the one that you want. And right now, it's looking at the current website we're at. So we're doing Koalas, of course, right. and I need this to go to my students. Well, I have a few ways that I can do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Drop down here. We're going to start with push, push to students. students. If I select this option and press push, this website will pop up in a new tab on students' Chromebooks, or if they're on a desktop or a laptop, they just have to be signed into Google Chrome. Super easy for your kiddos. Exactly. The other thing I really like about this, the students have this extension already. They can actually push websites to you, the teacher, and you can accept them or reject them. So if you're walking around the classroom and little Johnny is looking at a great Koala website, you say, hey, Johnny, send that to the front. He's going to go and press the little icon and push it to the teacher. You at the front can press accept, and then the whole class can see that same site that little Johnny is looking at. So easy for your whole class to interact together. Exactly. All right. Part two. Part two. Instead of push to students, let's talk about create assignments. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Simple. Instead of finding a website, opening a new tab for Google Classroom, clicking on your class, clicking on classwork, clicking on the plus, all that kind of stuff. Okay. That's way too many clicks, right? Uh, right. So put Type your in title. Nice. Give your students instructions. You can assign it for a point of value if you would like or ungraded. Um, select your due date, your topic that you want to put it under, and it saves the link for you. Just now, go ahead. No, you go. Oh, well, you can schedule these for later. So if you're doing this at home and you don't want to do it right now, press the arrow, schedule, and choose the time that you want to save it to. Or if you have multiple classes on the same one, which you could have two different classes, but um, if you happen to have the same ones on there and you don't want them viewing it, you can change it up. Right. The other thing that I really like, of course, these are all the same features that are in Classroom. You can schedule, for, or not schedule, but post for multiple classes right here from that first drop-down menu. And then secondly, I could differentiate. So I only have one group of students that needs this Koala site. Mm -hmm. I can uncheck this and check off the students that need it, or everybody can get it. Yep. So, love it. Makes it really good. And then you just press the sign and it goes straight to your students. Woot woot. Option three. Three. Ask, Ask a, question. a question. This is the one that I really wish I would have used a long time ago because um, when my students are doing brain pop or when they're doing opening activities in the classroom and there's stuff that I want them to watch, but we don't necessarily need to do it full class. You assign it to them. They do it on their time. Then they can, uh, you can ask them questions. They can answer your questions and then you can grade them or not, but you have an understanding of where they're at and their knowledge at that point. So two options here. Well, first of all, you have to put your question. What do qualities eat? Great instruction. Um, read this article and then answer the question. Yep. Points. Five. Great. Due date. I'm not worried about it. Topic. Articles. There's my link. Two options. Option one is short answer. You just want them to type in an answer. Mm -hmm. You can allow students to reply to one another or you can turn that off. And you can allow them to edit their answer afterwards. That's up to you. That's for short answer. But you also have multiple choice. So you actually enter some choices here for them to pick on, to pick on, to select. Then um, up here back at the top, same options that we've been seeing. You can do it for multiple classes. You can do it for specific students or everybody. And then of course, ask is immediately, yep. or you can assign it for schedule. later. Schedule. Perfect. Yep. Okay, now we're on option four. four. Lots of them. Make announcements. Make announcements. Same options up here at the top. Pick classes, students. What do you want to tell them? There's the link, post now. Save it for later. Exactly. And y'all, that's it. That's yeah. the whole thing. It's a lot. It's, it's easy. It's a great way to get stuff out to your students. We love it. Yeah. It's another part of our productivity. So 
Enjoy it. How many tech tip? Tuesday. Oh, gosh, I always forget. Tinyurl.com backs forward slash TTT request. Get us your request. We'll do a tech tip Tuesday on it. We'll get everyone all the goodies that they need to follow us and we'll give you a little kudos in between. So thank you for joining us. Have a great Tuesday.